A journalist and political analyst says an American-Israeli bid to persuade Syria to stop receiving support from Iran is doomed to failure, and that President Bashar el-Assad's visit to Tehran heralds a lasting alliance between the two nations. In an interview with Press TV on Monday, Syed Mohsen Abbas highlighted the significance of Assad's visit to Iran, now that his country has successfully defeated the tech-free terrorists on almost all fronts thanks to Tehran's advisory assistance, predicting that Tehran-Damascus alliance would grow even further in the future. In spite of the fact that the war is effectively won, one of the hopes that the Israelis and the Americans still held out is that, in some way perhaps they could persuade Syria to get rid of any kind of the Islamic Republic support within Syria. That's not going to happen, Abbas said. Assad's trip to Iran, the commentator added, indicates that they are very much going to be an alliance that will stretch into the foreseeable future for sure. It underlines the fact that there's been a reversal of the tide. What was a Middle East which was totally, subjugated to zeo american interests has now got a major, if you like, dent in that domination, he added. The political expert further stressed that the enemies would step up their efforts against the resistance front in the region. Washington and Tel Aviv are trying to ramp up the efforts of the United Arab Emirates and the Saudis as their proxies in the region to carry out their dirty work. But what they realize now is that the resistance is alive and well. Iran's support for Syria is already manifesting itself in the fact that they will be building hundreds of thousands of homes reconstructing Syria, he said. During a visit to Tehran on Monday, Assad held talks with leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Saeed Ali Khamenei and President Hassan Rouhani. At the request of Damascus, Iran has been providing military advisory assistance to Syrian government forces in their fight against foreign-backed tax-free terrorists. Tehran's advisory support has enabled the Syrian army to liberate almost all areas from the terrorists' grip. On the diplomatic front, Iran, along with Russia and Turkey, has also been mediating a peace process since January 2017, which has brought Syria's warring sides to the negotiating table and helped significantly reduce violence in the Arab country amid efforts to find a political solution to the crisis there. Iran has also vowed to stand by Syria in the reconstruction process in the post-war era. Last week, Tehran announced plans to build 200,000 housing units in Syria. In January 1st, Vice President Dushak Jahangiri paid a visit to Syria at the head of a political and business delegation, during which the two sides sank 11 agreements on cooperation in various fields.